Now that we have the application server and licensing server installed, let's go ahead and install the processing server. I've already logged into the machine where I'm going to install the processing server and I will access the shared folder where the installer is saved. Right click auto run, run as administrator, click yes, distributed installation, install servers. Again, the same warning because I'm accessing it from a shared drive. So I'll just click run. Okay. I agree. Install. Close. Again, I agree. Install. Close. Accept. I'll enter the username and organization. Now I will uncheck everything except processing server and click next. Now here it's asking for the application server address which is basically http colon slash slash followed by the host name or the IP address of the application server. I'll go with the host name which is http colon slash slash abby app server and click next. And you need to enter the IP address or host name of the licensing server. So now you know how the application server talks to the licensing server. I'll enter the host name of the licensing server which is Abby LIC server. Then install. The installation will take a while so let me fast forward this video and we'll be right back after this is done. Alright, I'll click finish and the installation is completed. The next step is to start the processing server and make sure it talks to the application server. So I will launch the processing server monitor by clicking start and I'll go to the all apps. You can see the processing server. Click that and it will launch the processing server monitor. Now I'll right click on this Abbey Flexi Capture 12 servers. Click add server and you have to enter the IP address of the processing server. Since we are already on the processing server, I'll simply leave it as localhost and click OK. Now you can see our processing server here. I'll start the processing server by clicking this Start Server button. It'll appear as if it is started, but then it'll stop in a few seconds. Now let's see why this is happening. I'll open the Event Viewer by going to Start, type Event Viewer, and hit Enter. And if I expand Windows Logs and click Application, you can see a warning from the Abbey Flexi Capture Processing Server which says, Error creating an application server session, not enough writes on the application server. The reason why you are getting this error is because the processing server is trying to establish a session with the application server, but you have not authorized this processing server on the application server. In other words, this processing server does not have the rights to connect to the application server. So let me go back to the application server for a minute. And if I go to the administration and monitoring console, You can see the license number is still not updated and this is also because the processing server is not able to establish a session with the application server as I mentioned before. The processing server acts as the middleman between the licensing server and the application server. Alright, so if I go to the settings and users, you can see a new user called abbyproc server dollar is created here. This is basically the system account of the processing server. That is why you see the server's hostname followed by the dollar symbol. You might be wondering how this account got added here. Well, it basically got added when you entered the Abby's app server's hostname while installing the processing server. Now, if I click on this account, you can see the various roles here. If I enable the processing server role, we are authorizing this account with the processing server privileges. In other words, we are authorizing our processing server to establish a session to the application server. But I do not want to use this system account. Instead, the best practice is to use a service account. If you remember, we created two service accounts in the beginning, one for the processing server and the other one for processing station. So I'll go ahead and add that service account. So I'll click cancel, import, I'll type in my domain name, which is basically busyping. 
leave it as Windows Authentication and type the account name which is SVC Abbey PROC Server and click Find. Now you can see the account is fetched successfully from the Active Directory so I'll select this account and click Import. Now I'll go to this account settings fill in the email address which is basically the administrator's email address under roles click processing server and click save next go back to the processing server open services.msc right click Abbey Flexi Capture 12 processing server click properties Ensure the startup type is set to automatic. Go to the logon tab, click browse, select the location as entire directory, and type the service account name. Check names. Alright, looks good. Enter the password of the service account, and you will get this success message which says the service account has been granted the logon as a service right. So that's good. Click OK. And it says the new logon name will not take effect until you stop and restart the service. That's fine. Click OK. And OK again. Now I will stop the service. And start it again. Now if I go back to the processing server monitor, you can ignore this error. I'll right click again, add server, leave it as localhost, click OK. And now you can see that it successfully started. Let's go back to the application server and see the license settings have been applied or not. I'll go to the summary tab. Here you go. That is it. The application server was successfully able to fetch the license information through the processing server. In the next video, we will install and configure the processing station.